Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv. I have another Q&A question. This one comes from, who does this come from? This one comes from Kenny is cool. And I remember Kenny from Chris Perillo's, one of his very first giveaways. Uh, I think it was a computer. I think it was uh, that Ferrari computer. Kenny won that from Chris Perillo. Um, and he asks, <laughs> why choose an Xbox 360 over a PS3. So, Kenny is cool. Kenny is cool. Says, why choose an Xbox 360 over a PS3? Now, those of you who are subscribed to my channel know that, well, you may not know. I recently produced a video that says, why choose a PS3 over an Xbox 360? And I named reasons ranging from the Blu ray audio all the way up to free online gaming. And, uh, and the like. That made some people upset, naturally. I mean, this this console war is a little bit touchy to some people. They take it very, very seriously. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm an equal opportunity employer. But I don't employ anybody, but I'm still equal opportunity. I'm gonna do, this, do the same thing for the Xbox 360. Why? Because I own one. <gasps> You were just talking about good things about the PS3. How in the world could you own an Xbox 360 as well? It's possible. It's possible. So, I'm gonna do a little role play here. I just and I want to disclose. I want to point. That, oh, I just gotta set this up appropriately. These are just some of the reasons why someone would do it hypothetically. Why someone would choose an Xbox 360 over a PS3? All right. I'm I'm not gonna be able to name everything. Why? I said this in the last video. It depends on you and your likes. But here are some reasons why I believe somebody might do this. I'm not saying this is, these are set in stone reasons. One of you said that this was a reason and I went and talked to my uncle and he said that's not a reason. I'm subscribing right now. Don't do that, please. So, the very first reason that I want to name uh, that a 360 is better than a PS3, and I'm going off the top of my head a little bit, thinking is it has the most flexible pricing scheme out there. What do you mean by that? I mean that if you have a certain amount of money in your hands right now, the 360 gives you the easiest barrier to entry to get started on the platform. What the 360 gives you is various SKUs or various models of the Xbox 360, starting from the Xbox 360 Arcade, which is as low as $169 now, I believe, with the there are some deals on TechBargains.com and other places. If you need the information, I'll send it to you. Um, just email me. Uh, $169 all the way up to the Xbox 360 uh, Elites and the other models, not the bundles, which are about $399. So you got a uh, the biggest price range option you got the the biggest flexibility now this gives you the ability now if you're in a situation where you just want to get the console now and eventually add things as you get more money as you get more budget the Xbox 360 is an attractive way to get started you can start off with an arcade and and, and just start adding things to it adding this adding that adding you know you can add a hard drive you can add more controllers you can get a wireless headset you get all these accessories that uh, will give your Xbox 360 the same ability and you can use Xbox Live at, uh, later on and pay the monthly or yearly fee. Man, people are killing me with that yearly stuff. So, flexible pricing options. Um, the next thing is, let's see, how am I going to word this? Ease, I'm going to say ease of use, ease of use with online collaboration. One of you using such big words. What do I mean? I mean that the Xbox user interface or UI is very simple to use if you want to collaborate with others, if you want to talk to others, if you want to add others as a friend, if you want to, if you want to have online chats, if you want to send somebody, you know, I don't know, if you want to invite them into your game, if you want to do all these collaborative things to bring other people into your world online the Xbox 360 is excellent at this but it comes at a price so that very first point that I talked about with the flexibility options you know you do have flexibility 
Xbox 360 has an online fee whether it be monthly or yearly it's a it's an online fee that you have to consider with the with this decision with this fee you get great features but without it you have to consider what you don't have so with this fee I'm gonna put that on there with this fee you get excellent collaboration features you can invite people to games easily overlays you know you can play music during the game it's just it's, it's excellent the achievements you can share with people online and it, it's, it's awesome very awesome community but like I said it comes with a price so you, you gotta consider that um, number three uh, crikey I have to I have to really be careful how I word these things number three you may consider an Xbox 360 over a PS3 if you have a Windows friendly environment at home what do I mean by that if you manage your media say your music your movies and everything in a Windows environment using Windows Media Player, Windows Home Media Center. If you're a Microsoft guy, if you got Microsoft stuff everywhere, your cell phone, you have Windows uh, Mobile on your um, on your smartphone, if you got all Windows stuff, the more Windows stuff you have, the better the Xbox 360 will intertwine with all of that stuff. Now, very similar to what I said with the PS3 video and the PSP. They're made for each other. Same is true here. Microsoft's OS is closely tied. Windows is closely tied to the Xbox 360. You can very, you can tie in all your multimedia. You can connect. You can play music. You can do all kinds of cool stuff very, very easily. It's it's made for it. So you're not going to have a whole lot of trouble connecting to it. So that's another reason. If you have a Windows friendly environment, um, now if you got all Linux machines, you're you're, you're probably going to have to do a little work to get things working. I'm not saying it's impossible, but you might have to, to work at it. And same with the Mac OS X. You might have to install something. You might have to get some things working. But the Windows environment is the easiest. It is dead simple. So that kind of makes the decision easier. Um, and uh, let's see. What I want to add to that is that it, if you consider the Microsoft stuff, the Xbox online experience and everything I described earlier, it plays well with Microsoft services such as MSN. So, you know, the MSN chat, such as uh, your gamer tag. You can share things online with your MSN game or your Xbox Live gamer tag. All this stuff is shared online. Plays very well into the Xbox.com environment, the Microsoft world. Like, if you have no trouble with this stuff, if you like this stuff, the Xbox 360 will fit you quite well. Um, now I want to end this. Those are just some of the reasons I can think of. There's a bunch. There's a bunch more. Um, but like I said, these are the ones I want to focus on. If I'm going to add one more, because this is a personal preference of mine, and some people may be in the same boat. If you like Netflix, right now, out of the box, the best Netflix option of all the consoles out there is the Xbox 360 for the sole reason that it's built in. But there's a catch. The Xbox 360 requires that you have an Xbox Live Gold account, which is that fee I talked about. With that fee, you get excellent Netflix support out of the box. Now, with PS3, I've talked. I think I've talked about it on here. You have to maybe install or um, or, or, or get some additional programs. I've answered this before to get Netflix working. It works, but you, it requires extra work. This is out of the box on the Xbox 360. It's included, it's there, and uh, I think it's probably one of the best implementations out there. And I was very saddened to see, because I don't have an Xbox Live account, and I was really dying to use it. It requires Xbox Live, so you have to consider that with that. Um, so those are, what, three, four, five reasons? I, don't, I lost count. On why you would choose an Xbox 360 over a PS3. In those areas, the 360 is very very strong in my opinion but like I said before to you you might not care about Netflix you might not care about MSN you might not care about easy online collaboration you may not care because <laughs> it's up to you so guys make a sound choice make a sound decision when picking these consoles and try to consider what uh, things you like you know, I've heard a lot of people say, I, I got a 360 because all my friends were on it, and I want to play the same things they, they have. 
in some circles, that's that's a valid reason. But for me, I wouldn't choose a console based on what somebody else is using. I don't care who they are. I'll find somebody else to play with. But that's just me. Um, so take this in stride. Like I said, these things all are contingent on what you like and uh, make a sound choice. So Kenny is cool. I hope I lived up to your question on um, why choose an Xbox 360 over PS3. Like I said, there's more reasons and I'm pretty sure the comments are going to let me know those reasons very quickly. Take care.